Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of SK Plays. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a game called Kinseed, which um, I know I've been doing a lot of Kickstarter games, but this also happens to be one of them. <laughs> it's, uh, it's brought to you by some guys who are apparently some veterans on the Fable series, if you're familiar with it. Uh, formerly of Lionhead Studios, formerly of EA, formerly of I mean, who knows what they're doing now. But uh, this game uh, was kind of pitched as like a little what did they call it? I mean, it was like an indie simulator. There's like some kind of uh, like passing down uh, your character's lineage or something like that, where you continue to tend to a farm. I mean, something like that. Apparently it's got some exploration and stuff like that as well, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. It literally just went into early access today, so we're going to check it out. It's not fully ready yet, you know, so we're looking at uh, a work in progress here. So we'll see what they end up doing with it. Um, I'm going in super blind. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had many kids. She didn't know what to do. This is the point where, like, I don't know if I'm going to press A or it's doing it on its own. Okay, it did it on its own. Then one day, a man without wife or child came to the house with manner so mild. You see a lot of that whimsical fable in it. The man who looked at the orphans and stroked at his chin then smiled at two children, each one a fair twin. Oh, that's what I was choosing right now. He took them away to live in the Vale, the land of Quill. The place of our tale. Then they slept safe, warm, and dry under the watchful stars in the sky. Man, I love this art. I kind of, I kind of want that as a wallpaper. Wake up! Wake up! That sounds familiar. Didn't I wake up like that in a, a game? Wake up! Jesus, fine. Who's who's yelling at me? I'm not moving yet, by the way. Okay, I am now. <laughs> oh, it's my twin sister. How do? Come talk to me. Hold A and choose the chat option. Okay. Sibling. Come on, lazy bones. Our new our new dad has been kind to us. And we should be earning our keep, not having a sleep. Here's your task list. Push down on the D-pad. What am I saying? <laughs> all right. Are you going to read those tasks or not? I've not got all day, you know. Uh, day one of summer, year one. Robin is 12 years old. I got to pick a dandelion. Oh, there's a lot of tasks here. Oh, shit. I pressed something. Father wants you to feed the pigs. An apple should do. Shake down from a tree and hold X, Y, or B to bring up your radio menu to bring it to hand. Throw something in by holding the item, then using the right trigger and aim with the right stick, or hold A and choose feed from the interaction menu. You won't earn any pocket money if you don't do as you are told, so get a move on. Off you go then. Hold right bumper to run. So chop chop. You can toggle always run in the options menu. Hold right bumper to run. Okay. Uh, wait. What if I want to choose other tasks? Can I do other tasks? Pick, can I pick a dandelion first? That seems easier. The future. The polar ice caps have melted. Apes run amok with machine guns. People solve murders before they happen by looking at their little balls. That's a Minority Report reference. Pretty cool. And the people of Quill tell the time by picking dandelions. Nature is the best technology. Pin. What if I want to do this one instead? Where do I... Where do I pick dandelions from? Um... The art for this was kind of striking. Um, as you know, I like pixel art looking stuff. And this just looks super cool. The description for the game kind of... Oh, look, there's the pig. Oh, there's a note here. How do I... What's what's this say? Push up on the D-pad to access your inventory. Okay. Oh, shit. D-pad does a lot of stuff. Next. New proverb discovered. Proverb grave lilac number one. 
The ancient dead don't rise at night because they fear the lilac white. Oh, so there's gonna be like zombies here later, probably. What is this? Wooden bucket. Never drink from this. Assigned to a slot. Oh, well, that's gonna be like X, Y, or B. Uh, I guess X for now. Sure. Bucket is X. <laughs> Contain or release. What is this? Strawberries? Yeah, strawberries. Forever in fields full of beetles. Blueberries. It's just their color. They are not sad. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's Hagrid over there. <laughs> let's, let's see what's going on. No, nothing in this. How do? How do I talk to you? Oh, give an apple? No, wait. I want to talk to the dude. Do I? Okay, I'm going to pet the cow. Can I not talk to this guy? Working. There you go. Father. Cough. Good to have you around. Must be much better out in the open air than spending all that time in a big sweaty shoe. I won't lie, my health hasn't been great, and so I need the help. I'll re reward you for every task. I left a road of signposts around the farm to help you. Use left trigger to read them. I just, I find it so funny when they, they give the actual buttons in their conversation. Use left trigger to view status of objects. Empty. Remind, reminder alert. What? Assigned? I, <laughs> yeah. Use left trigger to show status of objects. Okay, sure. Empty. Ooh, what's this? Watering can. Basically a shower for plants and flowers. I'm going to assign that to Y for now. Looks like i got to find water. Is this carrots? Yeah, carrots. Great for helping you see in the dark by setting them on fire. <laughs> I'll take that very much. Thank you. Oh, that was one of my tasks. What do I what do I do once I've completed a task? I guess I gotta do all of them, right? Okay. I gotta harvest cabbages. Fill water trough trough. Make an offering. The the Brunies? Brownies? It's not a W. The Brunies are mischievous fey sprites who love human food as much as they love plain pranks. With the right offering, they might even help out. Use the large offering bowl outside your house and gift them an item. Do not forget to do so. Tra, though, oh. <laughs> do not forget to do so, though. Okay, feed one pig. I gotta get them apples, right? Let's look for apples. There's a fucking apple right there. Yeah, wait. Okay, why did it turn purple? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Just throw them at him. Don't mind if I do. Creator notes, number one. Welcome to the messages from the great creator. Read these signs to find out much more about the future of Quill. Ooh, I like that little sunbeam action. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so... I'm going to probably have to assign that apple to something and throw it in there, right? Oink. Oh, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Uh, Use. <gasps> no! Did I eat it? No! God damn it. God damn it. I ate the fucking apple. <laughs> oh, look, there's another one right there. Alright. Everything's fine. Everything's cool, guys. Oh, we got two of them this time. Okay. Uh. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this time, not use. It should just say eat. Okay. So, up. We're going to hold. And throw. Eat that pig. Man, what's, my hands look all weird. They look like Ponyo hands when she's, like, trying to still become a human. How do I... Hey. Okay, here. Have some. Yeah, I fed the pig. How do I not hold anymore? Oh, no, no. Pick the... I, how do I stop holding? Okay, there you go. Collected apple... What else do we have to do? We gotta do other stuff. Okay, we gotta fill the trough. Oh, this was the offering bowl, right? 
Present your offering. I feel like I don't have anything to offer yet. I'm gonna get my bucket full of water here. Contain, release. It's filled wooden bucket. Okay, I'm gonna put it away for now. I have a bucket full of water. For what? I don't know yet. Let's look at our tasks now. Okay, I still need to find a dandelion. Oh, okay, they love human food. The right offering they may even help out. Use a large offering bowl outside your house and gift them an item. Do not forget to do so. Fill water trough. Not to be mistaken for fill the trough. A poppy hill farmer who had a long body and dank and drank nothing but water. Just get a tin bucket. Use it on a fresh water source. Well, we can't give you any clues. Then hold the bucket and pour it into the trough. Easy peasy pigsy dink, dinky drinky. Oh. Easy peasy, pigsy drinky. <laughs> I'll remember that one. Pear. Just the one. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. This game's... This game's on to something. <laughs> Where... So what does a trough look like? I don't... Is that... Oh, wait. Isn't that where the pigs... Uh... Yeah, it's down here. Yeah, this is a trough. This is a trough. Release. Yeah. All right. Getting stuff done. Make an offering for cabbages. Let's look for the cabbages. Are these them? Oh, dude. Is there, it's a day-night cycle. Exotic. Exciting. Succulent. Three words that you can't use to describe cabbage. <laughs> I would agree with you. All right. Damn, we're... We gotta hurry. Oh, is that a dandelion? Is this the dandelion? I think I did. That was a dandelion. Okay, make an offer. Should we give them an? Should we give the Fay an apple? Hmm. I don't know if that did anything. What if? Uh, oops, wrong button. Forever in the fields of beetles. What if? Oh, what about strawberries? I mean, I feel like they would probably want a strawberry. Right? I don't know if that did it though. Did I did I put it in there? What's B? Oh, that's like to get rid of it. Oh, I just picked up everything I dropped. Oh, present your offering. Okay. No, not cabbage. Okay, fuck it. It worked. <laughs> well, that's what they like. Okay. Did I, I did everything, didn't I? Yes. Do I go inside now? Whistles. Give gift. Can I give her a cabbage? Have a cabbage. Oh, did I eat that? I don't know what just happened. Repeat. Time. The time is 8.40 p.m. What about you, Dad? Up the proverbial by the old fishwife. Quill is a place of superstition and customs. The fact that these actually work make Quill a very interesting place to live. By abiding by the laws of the land and listening to folk wisdoms, you will be able to find these things you need to progress in life. Each thing in the world, each bird, each beast, each flower, each fruit, has wisdoms that tell you of their secrets. You can even discover wise advice on where best to court your lover. And even the best places, oh, sorry, yeah, places and times of day where conception is at its highest. Wow. These wisdoms are found scrawled on pages or passed on by the good folk of the land. Although often only in friendship will their tongues be loosened of such valuable information. Use the knowledge well, or you will be up the paddle without a creek. You can view collected proverbs in the inventory. Each item in the world has three proverbs, which should help you, I'm sorry, help, help clue you in on where and when to harvest them. As the old proverb says, you can't take a horse to water because they are extinct. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What is happening in this game, man? Father, 55 years old, 11th summer. Repeat, time, common item, uncommon item, hate, epic item, epic item. How old am I? Well, 55 years old, if you can believe it. Do I just go to bed? Father, should I just go to bed, Father? There's a lantern here, nice. I'm gonna assign that to B for now. All right, I'm going to bed. 
Time to sleep. Okay, what time is it? You'll sleep until 6 a.m. if you accept this. What? How many... How many... What? What are these dandelion flower things? I feel like it told me about this, right? Let's sleep for eight hours. Sure. Yawn. Feeling sleepy. Day two. Weather is expected to mostly be sunny with a 0% chance of rain. Five brass waiting to collect. Zero new tasks added for the day. Come on, get up. More to do today. I couldn't stay awake last night. Father told me that the Fae sprinkled children with sleeping dust so they don't see their midnight dances. Well then. <laughs> oh, there's something over here. Task rewarded. Five brass for completing five tasks. What's up, sister? Uh, another busy day. I hear you are going to the village. Don't get too distracted. Uh, you still have an exclamation mark. What do I... What's this? Candy hair to fill in. Blueberry jam. Intelligent. I don't know what this stuff is. We'll find out later, I guess. Papa! Here's two brass. We need a new tin bucket from the village. I opened the south and west gates. I trust you to be careful out there. The Vale is a haven, but always keep the path in mind. It is always safe to follow the path. Once out of the farm, follow the signs and head west to the village. Uh, might help to say hello to some of the folks there, too. Okay, Dad. South and west. Oh, wait. There's stuff here. I'm going to get some stuff. I'm probably going to need this, right? Should we go south first? Or should we go west? Let's go south. Here we go. Entering Druidus Cross. Who's this guy? Faring well? Oh, Wanderer. Hello, youngin. I'm just resting here while the missus prays. Then we head back to the Poppy Hill. As a kid, you wouldn't have been out here in the Vale, would you now? Ah, when you come of age, the wonders of the land will be yours. All yours. <laughs> Wish I was young again. Something you need? Name? Time? Repeat? I wonder... It looks like time's gonna be a thing. Greetings. Wandress. You interrupted my blessings. Don't you know what this is? This is a goddess statue. You can pray here to our beloved fae goddesses and give an offering. If they like your gift, you might even be blessed by the... By their touch. I was gonna say the touch. <laughs> Just interact and then choose the goddess you wish to offer, and then the gift. You veil folk worship Judah, goddess of orchards. So if you want your apples to be free of worms, best be careful what you offer. I don't know what accent that is. I'm sorry. I apologize. That was terrible. I just, you need to know which is not my voice and there's discovered map stone I have a map oh no map <laughs> I guess not wait toggle world map ah so there's gonna be uh lots of stuff happening okay what else is out here I bet this leads me back to the farm if I'm just going back north where the farm is. Ooh, letterbox. Entering candle... Candle lich... Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to spell that first word. I'm sorry to pronounce. Uh, I'm not even moving. Oh, yeah, I am. There we go. Greetings! Toby Jug. Hello, youngin. Heard you were at the Widow Town. Wait, up at. I'm sorry. Heard you were up at Widow Down. I own the tavern with my wonderful daughter. We don't serve miners, but we serve miners. Not there are any. Not that there are any left. My Melanie is in charge. She is just so much better at business. Oh, what's this? IP everywhere by Yuri Nepo. 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 Nepo? LP in the bushes, LP in the tree. 
LP in the woodland. Wait, IP. Not LP. IP all on me. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to say this all over again. IP Everywhere by Yuri Nep Nepo. I don't know. IP in the bushes. IP in the tree. IP in the woodland. IP all on me. Gross. IP in the fountain and in the old dark well. IP in the valley. IP in the dell. IP when it's dark. And IP for a dare. Intellectual property. It's everywhere. Uh, I get it. <laughs> oh, apples, pear. Just the one. Hey, there's a note here. New proverb discovered. Proverb poppy number two. Better poppies may surprise where the dead close their eyes. Okay. <laughs> What's in here? A book. Or not. Oh, no! How do I... Book pages. How do I read it again? No. No, I didn't... Oh, it was a book, though, right? Here we go. Was that what this was? The ownership? Yeah. Wolf Justice, A Guide to Dog Ownership, Part 3 by Kane Hines. Keeping your dog from death and melancholy. Oh, so this is going to be just like tips in the game? Feeding dogs is fairly simple. Dogs love meat. Dogs hate vegetables. Dogs like bones. Dogs hate peanuts. In fact, nobody knows what peanuts are in Quill. Ancient texts tell of walking and talking dogs who eat very large sandwiches while fighting deadly spirits. But these are just shaggy tales. Keep your dog faithful and happy with regular play. Throwing a small spherical object seems to pleasure them greatly. Dogs also enjoy walks and having their heads hit gently in a padding motion. This is called head clapping. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Give me strawberries. <laughs> Man, y'all. Y'all aren't going to be able to hear it, but holy crap, is that music getting super loud in my ear. Festival Green South. Creator notes number three, the ledger will allow for stock taking, ordering, staff hires, and looking at your reputation per haven and worldwide. I want to talk to that lady. Oh, there's a lot of people there. Oh, stuff's happening. I want to go in there. Dude, I got like a skull. How do I, how do I go over there? I want to go to the party. I heard it party without me I want I want to go to there oh there we go yeah just like I'm trying to see their instruments basically just an accordion and this guy banging sticks essentially <laughs> Uh, this lady's got an exclamation. Oh, wait, there's a book. What's here? No, I, I guess I... It's just aesthetic. Oh, you can't use a ledger. Either you don't own this shop or you aren't old enough to. Melanie Jug. Oh, that, yeah, that was a daughter, right? Welcome to our village. I'm Toby's daughter and owner of the Flailing Arm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> I mean, because they're just getting drunk, right? So their arms are just flailing. I don't know. Can't serve you, I'm afraid, but come of age, and I will happily fill your tankard. Oh, yeah, so that, that's going to be part of the age stuff, right? Because at some point, I'm going to grow old and die. <laughs> oh, I'm just walking into people's houses now. The Pig Riders of Rowan! Dick Ham. <laughs> there was there was a young farmhand called Rowan Boats who found a piglet floating in the weeds while he was hiding from his tasks. He tended to the little pink ball of ham, and it grew and grew until it was big enough to ride. The pig, who Rowan named Lightning, ran faster than any any known hog. Rowan entered many pig races and won easily every time. However, one day the pig had piglets, eleven of them. Rowan gave them the old woman who lived in a shoe and went on his way. 
Two years passed, and as Rowan rode into the hamlet of Nettleprick, he heard rumbling on the horizon. However, twas not to storm, but to the piglets. The piglets chased after their mother, whom Rowan tried to ride away to avoid, being crushed by the stampede. To this day, the chase continues. You can see the flash of lightning, then hear the thunder of the chasing piglets as they eternally pursue their mother. There's going to be a lot of literature in this place, man. Oh, chicken. Can I do... Can I... I'm going to pet the chicken. Cool. I got a green plus sign. <laughs> oh, do I want to go in here? Oh, I can't. That looked like a cave for a second. I guess not. Or maybe it's just hasn't happened yet. Map marker? Map stone. Two more to find. Oh, that's, I'm just hearing bees now. Uh, that's probably a bad thing. Give me this book. Smiths don't have to be depressing by Anvil. Insert smithing know-how were eventually. What? Oh, know-how. <laughs> Insert smithing know-how here eventually, I guess. To compensate you for this book being unfinished, there is a little verse. There was a blacksmith called Nick who got a nail stuck in a part of his reproductive organ. The end. <laughs> It's charming. This game's pretty charming. Oh, that's locked. What's in there? I want to go to there. What, uh, what time is it, lady? Maybe now I do want to ask people what time it is. I have a question for you. Something you need? Hey, listen, let me talk to her. Okay, I guess not. I guess she has no information for me. Neither does this lady. Is there only certain people I can ask for the time? I'm gonna talk to this guy. Wait, what about her? Oh. Lady! Alright, never mind. I'm ill! I've got just what you need. Hey, talk to me first, though. <laughs> Let me sip. <laughs> you look uh, a fine, healthy youngster. Keep eating your vegetables and honoring Druida. And stay on the path, and we shouldn't be meeting much. Do you have the time, sir? Oh, no. Oh, okay. So you can see his likes and hates, apparently, instead of dislikes. What's this guy doing? Boots Winters. Ah, welcome, welcome. Another potential victim of the curses and ailments that simple folk often stumble headlong into. We are the best in the Vale and the only ones in the Vale. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is this? You can't open the shop. Oh, okay. What? I could just decide. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So, I remember reading just briefly, right? Because I only looked. This game literally just came out today. And, well, for early access at least. And uh, I, I kind of just quickly sifted through the description and stuff. And it did talk about, like, like having your own shop. Like, you'd be like a blacksmith and stuff like that or, or whatever. Creator's Notes number seven. Owning the Kin Seed will reveal the Fae for what they are. These will be added in the coming builds. Cool. One more map stone to find. Oh, it's getting dark. I should probably go home, right? New proverb discovered. Proverb number three. Next to streams and pools are night berries for waking fools. Uncovered trait insomnia. Uh. Like I better maybe go. I should probably go. Does anything bad happen at night? Let's hope not. Can I? I'm pretty sure I just can't sleep in anyone's bed, right? Like that's gonna be a a bad thing. I should go home to Papa. Papa, wait for me. Those guys are still going at it. I can I bring out my lantern? There you go. Yeah. Entering Druid across. No, I want to go right. Oh, is, can I read what the sign says here? Completed task, pick a dandelion. What? I have more tasks? Oh, I had more tasks? I didn't, I didn't know I had more tasks. 
What happens if I don't do them? What is this? Goddess statue is... Oh yeah, the lady was... Make an offering. It said I had to make an offering, right? I'm gonna give you a pear. Alright. I guess that's it. Travel? What do you wish to do? I couldn't even really pick anything there. Let's go back to town! Willowdown Farm. That's where Papa lives. Me and Papa having such such good times. Technically, he's not my Papa. But he beats me until I say he is. <laughs> Sister! Sibling, I like our new dad. Let's make him proud. He said if we do well, we might even get a birthday present at the end of the season. Our first ever. What it, what it, shouldn't he just give us one because it's our birthday? The fuck? Whistles. South of the village is a festival green. There is a market there on certain days. Pig racing, the auctions, and the village woodfellow. Have a little... Explore. I'm oh, sorry, man. My fucking reading is off today. Have a little explore when your tasks are done. <laughs> All right, man. I guess we'll call it there for our day two stuff. I uh, didn't. Uh, oh, what's with these dandelions telling the time? Is that what time it is? Is that how long? I don't know what this means. This is this gonna be six a.m. Is that six a.m. right there? You will sleep until 6 a.m. if you accept this. But why is it red? Is that bad? I don't know. Let's sleep for eight hours. Well, all right then. We're going to call it there in day three, guys. And um, I don't know. Maybe we'll try it out again. Pick it up if, uh, if you all liked it. It's uh, it's interesting. It's whimsical. I'll probably give it a try. You know what I was thinking? Maybe we'll do like some check-ins. Maybe I'll play. And then once I get a handle of it, we'll come check back in. How y'all like that? Let me know. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming by. Bye.